Hey guys, and welcome back from our Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we uh, did some missions, got stars. We actually got three stars. Okay, that's nice. So, um, since there's no other stars for us to get around here, at least as far as my knowledge, let's go to Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor, which is the boss area of this mission. Or this terrace, of this dome, I mean, sorry. Megalegs Moon. He has an entire moon for himself. That is awesome. I guess Megaleg is that huge freaking thing. Of course it is. And it might look kind of intimidating, but it's actually, as always, a pretty easy boss. Okay, now this part is uh, a somewhat annoying. What you need to do is find um, a bullet bill. There we go. Make him follow you. Lead him in the direction of the pull star, or the uh, the launch star. Sorry. And then you can go. Eh, it wasn't too hard. And stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I can't even see them, dude. Ah, oh, there we go. Six stars for Jasper. Okay, so here's Bowser Jr. Ha! Wow, you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go ahead, Omegaleg, stop with the power of your grand star. Well, uh... We'll see about that. And, oh my god, it's gonna stomp me, isn't it? I never get stomped by this thing before, I wonder if it's actually instant kill. Okay, so it might be huge, and it might be look really intimidating. What you should do is just walk along the sides because gravity is your friend, you guys. Remember, if thing goes up, what the? How did you turn? Anyways, these gears are not hard at all. Triple jump, easily. Okay, so you have to lead uh, this uh, some bullet bills into his cage where the grand star is. So. Okay, yeah, the, the first one is simple to do. The second one, uh, he has these uh, rails around, guard, guard the thing. Okay, so see if we can get another, there we go. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so what you need to do is get it to explode in it, and then you have to get another one quickly, because it will regenerate, to get guide into inside to get the, oh, that was actually, that was actually pretty easy. I've never done it that fast before, but then again, I am a pro, so no big surprise there. Okay, so here's the second grand star of the game, pretty easily, I can say. Grand star pictures. Herp derp sample man. You got a grand star. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, this grand star is definitely gonna help us. It's gonna power up some stuff. And that's gonna make a portal up here. Or not a portal, a teleporter, I guess. And that's our tenth star, meaning that we're one twelfth in the way of completing the game. Look. The ball of flame represents the power of the observatory called the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. A little star power. Huh. Common observatory can use the power to fly for the universe. Uh, once all the powers are restored, we will be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. New fountain. Yes. Now we can go to the fountain. Have you looked at the map? Don't hesitate to speak with me. Save your game, of course. That was actually pretty easy. But, um... Ooh, look, the starship's finished. Let's go check it out, why don't we? Also, we have 400 uh, star bits. Hello there. 
We've finished building the Starshroom Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bow leader, so I'm gonna, um, well, me. And my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. So, um, I don't know how this thing flies. I don't know how this thing controls. It's just a mushroom, really. Let's get the one up. Like I ever needed, because after all, I am a pro. Okay, since we have 400 star bits, let's go talk to the hungry Luma. Talk. I'm famished and need a 400 power uh, star bits. So here we go. That has. That's it. I'm stopped. Here we go. Transform. Okay. Let me see here. Um, okay. Sweet, sweet galaxy. So just found out we've completed Terrors as far as we can complete it for now. So no need to go back there. Alright, uh, Rocky Road. That means Rocky. The Boxer. Bam, bam, bam. Now I kind of want to play Wii Sports. But no, I won't. This is a Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy is fun. But this mission is... Nostalgia Boner. Oh yeah. In here, it's the over, it's one of the overworld themes from uh, Super Mario 3. It's one of my f it's just my favorite in Mar 2D Mario game. Which I also did an P of before, but I ended it because it was sucked so bad. Stop it here. Star bits along the walls. You might want to get them. It's easy for star bits. So as you see, this mission is based around candy, cakes actually. Cake? There will be cake. No glados for you, Mario. So the music here is really a nostalgia boner. And this part, I usually had a lot of problems with this the first time I played this game. But, nah, it's not hard at all, really. Just take your time. Long jump. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 dude! No! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That is the most epic ninja save I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. But, eh, no surprise. You know, after all, I'm awesome at this game. Let's get over here. I'm not gonna be careful here. Oh, there we go. And, long jump. And, it's a toad! We got a power star! Good for you guys. Oh, this is Star Shroom. We're going back! <laughs> oh, I can't see it. Dude, Mario, turn around so I can see what he says. Hey, we're going back. Okay. <laughs> So, um, a candy thing spin in the middle and you get it. So, ooh, let's look around here. Star. Candy. Yeah, this is a cool world. I mean, it's candy after all. Let's get the power star. Star bitches! Had to. Ah. Ooh, cuts in time. Got a star, rock a road. Nice, we're updated, star bit count increased. So when you guys, oh no, we're not gonna get a cuts in. Every time you go for the Hungry Luma stars, you will be transported back to this pad. So, okay, now we have two galaxies in um, Fountain, which is cool. And one more star, and we're ten, one tenth out of the way. We're 10% finished with the game. Actually, only five if you count Luigi, but I will not do Luigi. Because that would be tedious for me. As well as I don't want to play the entire game myself, you know. It's kind of boring once you play the entire game. You don't want to right, right away play it again. A new galaxy appeared. A wild galaxy appeared. Oh, rolling green galaxy. I will do this one before I check out the other one because this galaxy is pretty cool. Um, it really uses the, the, um, the Wii remote. You know, it really shows its power. Power to the players. Rolling in the clouds. Uh, so what you need to do on this, as you can see there's a ball, and you control that using the Wii Remote. Which is kind of cool, and you have to get it in that thing. And me being awesome and all, I will of course attempt a speedrun of this mission. Yes. Which I can do. Okay, so, hey, now you're thinking about rolling that bottom way billboard. And I jump on top of the ball. No shit. And so you control using the Wii Remote. It's gonna teach us. Oh, hold straight up. There we go. 
Car basic position, tilt the ball in any direction, press A to jump. If I'm going to see race, smoosh it! Learn by doing it yourself. Okay, so let's try speed running. Um, the uh, more forward you hold the Wii controller, uh, the, the Wii Mote, uh, the faster Mario goes, so keep that in mind. Also, the music's determined about how uh, how fast you're going. That's kind of cool. Go, go, go. Pick up the star bits. But let's just race for this place. You want to be careful about hitting the Goombas because uh, sometimes it will knock, you, try to knock you off, you know. Okay, so... Um, actually, let's go for the easy pass. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, ninja save! Oh, come on, come on. There we go. See, that wasn't hard at all. I even tried to speed run that time. In which I did, uh, at least I think. Because it, it was a pretty fast run, I will admit. We got 12 star bits, too. Okay, so let's head up. Get the star. Star bitches! Okay. So with that star in tow... Um... Closing up in 10 minutes here. Oh no, wait, we're past 10 minutes. Huh. I can't. I, I don't stop the recording after I'm finished with a, with one part. You know, I just keep going. Um, but just uh, redoing the intro afterwards. So it's a lot easier that way. Because I have to go through some troubles to get the recording started. Anyways, we have two new galaxies here. Check out this one. Only 15 power stars. Uh, Space Junk Galaxy. They, that galaxy is cool and it's got awesome music. It's also got a pretty cool reference. And this Battle Rock Galaxy, this one also has a really, really cool battle theme. So, um, I really don't know which one to pick. Let's do it in order, huh? Let's do one in Space Junk and then head to uh, Battle Rock. The music in, uh, in this one is really cool. But the music in Battle Rock is pretty awesome. So it also has a reference to another uh, a Nintendo game. In uh, in this uh, in this galaxy, which we'll see when it when we get there. So Pole Star Path. Yes. Yep. A uh, level based around Pole Stars. Let's do the music here. I mean, isn't that really cool? So relaxing and everything. I like it a lot. Uh, this game has a lot of awesome music. Which, uh, I know a song that probably everybody likes. Which we'll get to. I like it as well. It is, uh, undeniably, uh, my, my uh, most liked theme in the entire game. Same. That's my fanboy. And this ship might look familiar. Um, it's a spaceship. And it is actually Olimar's ship from Pikmin. Yeah. I don't know how this thing got out here in space. Oh, maybe. Yeah, of course it must have flown into space. But I think it's what it's supposed to be. Uh, now, I've never actually played a Pikmin game. Because uh, I see Pikmin games at the store. And I'm like, oh, dude, I really want to get that game. It's actually only Pikmin 2, though, but whatever. And it's like... Uh, Really expensive. It's like a new game. Oh, God, dude! It's like horrendous price. Um, my my Zelda Twilight Princess disc is broken. I wanted to replace it, but uh, the only stores I can find sell it at the price when it came out. It's like really expensive, and I don't know how they have the balls to even sell it at that price. But it's just horrendous. Oh, dude. It costs as much as my capture card costs. Actually, it's uh, not a... Uh, the capture card costs a little bit more, I think. Okay, so what is this? We have toads. Please help my other friends. Urgh. You're ordering me around. Okay, let's get a... Uh, one up here. Oh, yeah! And there we go. And the uh, thing is gonna come. Captain, how could you leave us behind? Just 
Boomer there. Hello there. Uh, jump on his head. Talk. Da da da! It's a brave captain. Da, 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 just have a shortcut to the bow star. Take the sling star to top of the star shroom. Then we can look inside the star shroom and, uh. There's not really a lot in there. It's just a panel and some stuff. Anyways, this part! Oh! If you haven't played this part before, you're in for a treat! Um, this path will appear in front of you. And uh, you have to get these silver stars, which will eventually combine into a power star. This is kind of like the red, uh, red coin mission of of this game. Which, uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, okay, so the green ones mean that you probably have to jump or something. I think uh, the blue ones means no jumping, as far as I know. Uh, at least from what I remember. Okay, so get on top. Down and we have four. And we only need five, opposed to eight red coins. Whoa. Okay. And head over here to this one. Um, we have to jump for this one. And there we go. Now there's actually they're actually going to be a real dick and uh, actually do a speed run version of this mission. And I swear to God, uh, you have to kind of rush it, and that is annoying as fuck. And also, you have to get your ass back to the pad where you came from by walking on uh, these pads. Uh, luckily, not too hard, though. Get the star, and uh, we're going to end this stuff off here. Because we're at pretty decent time, as far as I know. Actually, it's only, yeah, it's uh, 16 minutes around, I think. Because my, uh, my audacity says uh, 34 minutes right now, so that should be around 16. Pull star path, Patient Galaxy, 13 stars over 10% way. Game. Oh, cutscene. It seems that the pranks are coming as a pet somewhere. Pranks are coming. What the balls? Pranks come with very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about those curious comets, to Ice Luma, who knows about stuff like that. Okay, whatever. Save your game, and uh, I think we'll end stuff off here. So I'll see you guys the next time. Next part, let's play Super Mario Galaxy. See you guys then.